Good morning, everyone. This is Alex, and I'm here in Chongqing, and I'm part of the I Chongqing team. And I would like to really update you on the current situation here in the city. I'm in the Yubei district. We have a population of over 32 million in this city. It's a big city. I've decided to bring uh, someone on the program today. Uh, she has studied and been a nurse here in Chongqing, and currently she's in the Hunan province. Her name is Sunny, and I wanted to invite her onto the show. Welcome to the program, Sunny. Um, uh, Sunny, you're located in the Hunan province, is that correct? Yes, I majored in nursing and in Nanhua University. I used to work it in the hospital for four years in Chongqing. I just want to share something about my colleagues. Since November outbreak of the epidemic, our, my colleagues have lived in the hospital and they can't go home, can't accompany with their families. They go through a lot these times both mentally and physically. Well, I just want to say a thank you uh, from everyone here, all the people living here in Chongqing, for your colleagues that are working around the clock, whether it's in Chongqing or other parts of China. So what are the normal symptoms of a cold compared to the symptoms of COVID-19? According to the recent study, there's no specific evidence showing that COVID-19 is equal with the cold, but they do have similar symptoms like fever, diarrhea, test loss, and so on. As for the sequela, I think we should do more research and pay more attention on patients who have ever gotten the COVID-19. Last days, I have heard the news. Chongqing Medical University organized a team of volunteers who have the master or doctor degree to go to the first line to fight against the COVID-19. I was deeply moved by them. The young medical students strongly feel the character identity and a sense of vocation. When we face to the difficulties and challenges, we'll try our best to conquer them. Can you just tell us a bit about your situation right now? Our school also experienced the epidemic. We have class online. And have you been speaking to your colleagues in Chongqing? Of course, we keep in touch every day. I'm very care about the Chongqing epidemics. These are nurses that are working here in Chongqing during COVID uh, prevention. Can you maybe share some of the stories they're telling you? They work it every minute except the sleeping time. So basically wake up, uh, COVID prevention, as soon as they're out of energy, sleep back again, doing it over and over and over for the last few weeks here. How many years were you a nurse here in Chongqing? Four years after I graduated from the Chongqing Medical University. You're pursuing your education further. What is your uh, end, end goal here? I want to go back to my hometown. I like Chongqing, so I want to work it in the Chongqing hospital in the future. I really appreciate uh, you coming on today's program. Thank you and a special thank you to all your colleagues here in the city of Chongqing, taking care and keeping everyone safe. I appreciate your time. Thank you, Alex. Thank you. I hope everything is gonna be fine. Everything will pass soon. Thank you very much for that. So it's been a real opportunity to have Sunny on the program here today. I really appreciate you taking part in educating our viewers about COVID and the uh, measures. Anyway, from me here, my name is Alex here at Ai Chung Ching. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Take care.